Hello, my name is Rob, and I am on the Mississauga Anasnavi territory in North Geelong. I will be talking about the GTA West project, which includes the traditional territories of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anishinaabe, Huon Wendat, Honishnoni, and Chippewa people. I apologize if any nations are missed. There are a few ads out from the progressive conservatives which support highways like 413 GTA West Project and presumably the Bradford Bypass. Both of these roads are controversial. What makes them controversial is that the government of Ontario will not do an environmental assessment on either road highway to determine if it's needed or alternatives to the road itself. In May, there was an article from the Toronto Star which said that the federal government will be doing an environmental impact assessment. The article called the federal government to carry out an environmental assessment of the proposed Highway 413. Uh, recent changes to the Environmental Assessment Act allow for the government of Ontario to make up to 75 kilometer highways without an environmental assessment, which would determine the potential impacts, the need for the highway, economic justification and alternatives. Um, and they can look at um, environmental, social and economic impacts, both positive and negative. The article points out Point, pointed out that the Impact Assessment Agency of Canada identified western coast frogs, red-headed woodpecker, rabbits, clubtail, all of federal concern. I checked the Canadian Environmental Assessment Registry and found that the GTA West project, which would pass through Vaughan, Caledon, uh, Brampton, and Halton Hills, and is listed for an environmental impact assessment under the federal rules instead of provincial. Um, this is problematic because federal rules are often uh, less than um, provincial rules in, in a lot of cases. Um, through additional sourcing, I found an analysis report on whether to designate the GTA West project in Ontario pursuant to the Impact Assessment Act um, it, from May of 2021. And under Section 91 of the Impact Assessment Act, the minister may, by order, designate a physical activity that is not prescribed in regulations if. In the minister's opinion, the physical activity may cause adverse effects within federal jurisdiction or adverse direct or incremental effects or public concerns related to those effects warrant the designation. The report said that Indigenous groups were concerned about the loss of traditional gathering, harvesting, archaeological disturbances, and cumulative impacts. The Mississaugas of the Credit Force Nation sent a request for um, an evaluation. And the Huron Wendat Nation, Cove Lake Force Nation, Hiawatha Force Nation, Mississaugas of the Credit, and Six Nations all wrote and sent letters. And I have the um, a quote. Uh, which I agree with. Um, I'm just going to pause. Yeah, so the Mississauga of the Credit um, First Nation, they said that we strongly believe that we should not have to justify specific cultural or agricultural sites within our territory for the purposes of the project by demonstrating use of the area with physical evidence. The use of these sensitive headwaters and the full headwaters is still significantly used by our members 
as well as with the general public. These are all areas where we would have exercised our harvesting rights, hunting, fishing, and gathering, and where we look to continue these activities today. Um, yeah, so I, I agree that um, the, the, they shouldn't have to justify cultural significance, culturally significant sites uh, to accommodate the project. Um, and where was I? Yes, and, and then the, there was concerns about um, burial sites, ceremonial sites, uh, and cultural landscaping being impacted, as well as impacts to um, endangered uh, species or species at risk. Um, so the, the um, Environmental Impact Assessment Agency, um, or the agency that looked at the site, or whether or not to designate it federally, they said that those eight federally listed migratory boards that may be affected uh, 95 water border crossings um, and may impact fish. Um, and yeah, and in uh, 2015, oh, and then those like three, those three uh, specific. Uh, um, species um, that are concerned, that they're concerned with. Um, the Western Coast Frog, Red-Headed Woodpecker, and Rabbit's Clubtail. I think I said that. Um, yeah, and in 2015, the provincial government paused and canceled an environmental assessment. And in 2018, the, it was officially canceled. Uh, and the article controversial proposal for GTA West Highway canceled by province. Um, the then Ministry, Ministry of Transportation said, it's not the best way to address changing transportation needs. And the, the time has passed. Um, it's not a good idea to rely on outdated uh, environmental assessment. Um, uh, and then there was a report called, is building highway 413 the best option for moving people and goods in the GTA West region by environmental defense? The report says that an export panel found that there would be few benefits. They say 1,000 hectares of greenbelt could be impacted, 53 river crossings. There would be loss of thousands of hectares of agricultural land, uh, increased greenhouse gases as a result of driving more, increased air pollution. And that might be a separate video uh, based on uh, um, the World Health Organization um, saying that most Canadians live in areas that exceed um, World Health Organization um, guidelines. Um, damage from world runoff, increased open sprawl, and this environmental defense says that highways don't reduce congestion as drivers meet the new capacity. They gave the example of the Katy Freeway in Houston, which was wide into 24 lanes, and saw no improvement in traffic. And they gave uh, the example of the Los, An Los Angeles Highway um, and how warnings of Colmageddon due to con uh, construction ended up having the opposite effect of in increasing uh, transportation use. 
They also reference the fundamental law of road construction, evidence from US cities by Doranton and Tonal. Um, environmental defense said that transit surface investments are not keeping up with population growth. And in section 4.1.5, uh, they compare transit investments to the highway. And for 6.9 billion, 22,000 to 29,000 could be sold. For 7,000, for 6 billion. So you, you're ending up with the but all investments, but all, yeah, more, more for your doll by investing in increased transit in this area. Um, and then a lot of municipalities are now opposed to the highway, including Mississauga, Vaughan, Halton Hills, Peel Region, King Township, Orangeville, Brampton, and Caledon. Um, and this is a huge, um, huge item because the province and said that they want to work with uh, municipalities. Um, and they, the environmental defense recommended that those public transit investment, transportation management and transportation demand management, world rail separations, um and yeah so this government is weakening it is advertising that it's supporting the highway doubling down and it means that the public doesn't have have a say because they're, they're using um, minister zoning approvals for a lot of projects. And municipalities don't want it. Um, I've read that it would only save um, a minute and in time. So it's, it's not even that if, effective at reducing congestion. And they say that one of the reasons to um, move for the highway um, is to reduce congestion, but they've also canceled a lot of uh, tra transportation projects um, that would have the same, same or even better impact. Um, um, it, without, uh, sometimes without notice, um, very quickly. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, that, um, that's my thoughts on, um, so my, my thoughts on the ad is that it's problematic, it's a problematic ad, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't um, talk about the uh, environmental aspect at all. Um, and yeah, well, I, I hope that you have a good day and I'll be, I'll try to be back with a, another um, video um, later on in the week. Okay, now pause.